Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Jess here from Jess Watches Wrestling, bringing you this week's goods and bads of the pro wrestling world. So, this week we had the fallout from the Royal Rumble. What an absolute show it was as well. So, I was really, really excited to see what WWE actually had in store this week, starting, of course, with Monday Night Raw. We had some great things this week, but then we also had some not so good things. So obviously we had, yeah, it's, it's, it's raw, isn't it? So we can't always guarantee that it's going to be as wonderful as we'd like. So we saw, you know, something really, actually really great. We saw Drew McIntyre look stronger than ever after his win at the Royal Rumble, which was absolutely incredible. Um, was really 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 happy that he won I was kind of rooting from him from the beginning so he this week he went against Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson and took them both on and he defeated them so of course he is looking stronger than ever he is absolutely killing it on Raw at the minute so I'm looking forward to seeing what he does looking forward to seeing what he does at Wrestlemania but absolutely brilliant match between these guys and of course, Drew is just an absolute wonderful person. We also saw another, wasn't for me the best match, but it was a really, really good thing to see. Rey Mysterio versus MVP after MVP made his return at the Royal Rumble. This was huge for me because this is my child, like watching my childhood all over again. And I just felt like I used to when I was younger. MVP bless him he came back he has been doing he's he has been wrestling in the indie scenes for a while now and he did come back to WWE and you know went against one of the all-time greatest Rey Mysterio so that was actually really good to watch yeah, like I said not the best match but you know these two guys gave all they had and it was good to see and of course for Raw as well absolutely incredible moment if you watched the Royal Rumble, which I hope you did, if you didn't, you need to watch it. Um, we saw the return of Edge after nine years of being injured. So this was such a good thing to see him on Raw this week. It was more than good. It was incredible. And of course, we saw he was joined by the wonderful Randy Orton. Of course, these two are going to have a feud. It's going to be like the old days. And that was absolutely great to see on Raw this week. So it's up there with my goods. So very, very happy about Edge's return and very happy to see the feud with Randy and Edge. But of course, Raw being Raw, there is going to be some bad parts. And unfortunately, we've seen for a little while now, uh, you know, Eric Rowan come out and he has a cage and something's in the cage. Don't think anyone's even sure what it is. But anyway, he come out and, you know, he... I don't even know what he did if I'm honest he just he is defeating every single opponent he has at a minute very very quickly it's just a lot of chaos and I'm not really sure where WWE are actually going with this is it going to be something they're going to bring out you know more Wrestlemania or is it going to be a little bit before but at the minute I feel like he's just being a filler and you know it's, it's not it's not that great it's not that great to see and to see another bad moment we saw a match between Liv Morgan and Lana this feud situation has been going on for far too long now these two ladies do actually deserve a lot better than they are getting um Lana is not the strongest wrestler um and Liv she's she's getting there she's getting there but this wasn't a great match to see if I'm honest and this feud is just beyond ridiculous and I'm really really not enjoying it moving on to Wednesdays we saw NXT personally for me it was a great show um we saw uh, a brilliant brilliant promo from champa he is absolutely killing it i'm so glad he's he's back and he's ready to go and he wants his championship belt match he wants his title back that is all he wants that is his that is his golden opportunity and he of course smashed it with his promo again this week we also you know what opening nxt this week we saw a really good match between uh finn and trent seven Personally, I thought that Trent Seven 
wasn't even going to make it through the match you know these two are brilliant brilliant competitors and finn is looking super super strong at the minute and he is just glowing he is glowing and he's strong and he is really really blowing it away with all these matches at the moment especially after coming from worlds collide as well where that was a really good match with him and dragon off and of course trent seven is a brilliant guy so this match was actually really good between these two and i was very very impressed and of course we saw the brilliant finale of the dusty the dusty classic uh, and we saw pete dunn and matt riddle against the grizzled young veterans which was a brilliant match of course both teams are such good such good wrestlers you know we've seen pete dunn and matt riddle just be thrown together but the chemistry is beautiful and it is just something i really want to continue and obviously grizzled young veterans they're just unreal i've seen them a couple of times live as well and they are just fantastic fan fantastic people so personally i think the best people won and i'm looking forward to seeing what happens but overall really really good match uh for the final and yeah i'm i'm happy that they won the only bad part about nxt this week was the whole chelsea green situation not really sure her and robert what they're doing um chelsea green in my eyes she looked really really strong when she was against charlotte flair a couple of weeks ago she looked very very strong but at the minute it's looking a little bit embarrassing and i'm not really enjoying the kind of you know robert's representing her I'm not enjoying it at all that's the only bad side to nxt this week so AEW, not much actually stood out for me this week unfortunately it wasn't it wasn't personally the best i've seen there has been definitely better episodes but we did see Britt baker have a bit of a heel turn and i actually really enjoyed it i enjoyed her interview and i'm looking forward to seeing what she's bringing to you know bring to the roster at the minute we know that you know the AEW roster of the ladies are incredible but they're not doing enough with them they are not showing how good they really are and they really need to because they've got some great people on there and they're letting them go to waste in a minute so i'm looking forward to seeing what brick baker does and seeing hopefully aw are going to change that for her a little bit we did see a six-man tag match as well we had private party and darby allen versus santana ortiz and chris jericho so that was a good match of course that was going to be a good match it's got some brilliant brilliant competitors in there not sure where they're going but brilliant match between these guys overall AEW wasn't it just wasn't i didn't feel it as much this week um so yeah but i tell you what they did kill the ratings they got a lot more had a lot more people watching again rather than nxt so i'm very very surprised about that one but you know AEW do keep impressing us with the ratings every single week and finally smackdown <sighs> was a little bit of a shambles i'm not gonna lie this week was a bit of a shambles personally i feel as if you know bron winning the championship this week was in my eyes brilliant i'm really really happy for him not really sure what they're gonna do with shinsuke um he just doesn't get used like he should because he is an incredible incredible competitor in the ring and i'm hoping they do kind of just just get something sorted because that is just not not good not good but i am glad that Strowman won and he had that opportunity and he does actually deserve it so that's one good thing about smackdown we saw after the royal rumble we've seen the return of naomi back into the ring and it is beautiful i'm so happy she's back she is brilliant she's underrated so this week we saw her come face to face with bailey i'm hoping for a maybe a title change for naomi um she gets it rather than bailey having it as much as i like bailey and her heel turn i think naomi really deserves this and this week on smackdown having these two kind of go against each other and confront each other was actually really good and i'm looking forward to see what naomi does when well she's back and we also saw a good match between heavy machinery revival miz and john morrison and the lucha house party 
I wasn't, you know, I wasn't even going to doubt doubt this match at all and this is for a number one contender match for the smackdown tag team championship and of course miz and john morrison did win this so they will be going against the new day you know i'm i was happy with it you know i was very very happy with the match all of them teams are brilliant um the revival of course fantastic but they still keep asking for their release and they still want to leave the company but overall, really, really good match between these guys. Heavy machinery, kill it every time as well. So, yeah. So, Miz and John Morrison winning. They could be the new champions coming up soon. Who knows? But we are soon going to find out. Of course, there was oh, there was some bad this week. And I was a bit gutted. We saw Fire and Desire versus Nikki and Alexa. Another match. which is just, It's just not not great. It's not, I'm not really sure what they're doing. All of, you know, all of those competitors are really, really good in the ring. And just at the minute, they're just producing these matches that are just not good at all. Really not good. And it is quite sad to watch. I think a lot of it at the minute is kind of based around Otis and Mandy Rose. And it's kind of taking it away from the actual tag team situation they've got going. So maybe they need to think about what they're going to do with that a little bit more. We also saw this ongoing feud with Roman and Corbin. And this week it just hit another line and we saw more food get involved and it was just not good not good i have no idea anymore about it and i'm just do you know quite frankly i'm sick of it i'm sick of this feud and that was a very low point for smackdown this week so i just want it to be over and done with now it just wasn't nice um it doesn't matter who gets involved anymore it's just terrible so personally just please end the feud that's that's all i'm asking finally best show of the week you know this for me is actually quite i think it's quite obvious after what i've said and of course best show of the week for me is nxt for the reasons i've discussed the you know the dusty cup finals absolutely brilliant and oh yes yeah, so overall out of all the shows nxt definitely win this week for many reasons i'm looking forward to see what their rating is going to be like next week after the show they put on this week so each week they are getting better and better so hopefully fingers crossed they continue and we shall see what happens next week thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out my socials watches jess on twitter and jess watches wrestle on youtube and make sure you are subscribed and like the videos of Pro Wrestling Unlimited. I shall see you soon.